So Halloween is right around the corner and this year it's all treats and no tricks. I want to focus on fragrances that are on the sweeter side of things. Some of these fragrances are going to be geared more towards a feminine audience, but these three are amazing fragrances for the fall and the winter as well. So in today's Seth Lebon contributor video, I'm going to be going over this co-curated list between myself and Michelin Kamen of Seth Lebon. There's also a very special giveaway that I'm going to be telling you about, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin this video and I tell you about these three fragrances that are sweet leaning and I think all of these are quite wonderful, great performance, especially for this time of the year. And they do put me in that treat mindset of the Halloween month. I want to start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and please give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. So to start things off, if you would like to participate in the special giveaway, all you have to do is shoot on over to cephlabon.com. It's going to be the first link down below in the description box. So after you've become a registered reader, just drop a comment on the article. It's really that simple. I'm not going to be announcing the winner here. The winner will be announced only on cephlabon.com. So do make sure to check on the website to make sure if you won or not. So these are three fragrances that could be a little sweet leaning, but they have the endurance, they have the longevity, they have the lasting power, they have that, you know, base in them that makes them such good contenders for the colder months of the year. And of course, with some of them, they put me in the mindset of Halloween. Like the first one, for example, in this co-curated list is Prada Candy. So this is a fragrance that I acquired a few years ago, as a matter of fact. And of course, this is composed by Daniela Andrié. And this does have a bit of a sweet quality to it. There's a bit of caramel in here as well and just smelling it in the air, it just smells so dulcet. It has some floral qualities, of course, and Daniela Andrié knows how to use iris very, very well. I'm not necessarily suggesting that there's iris in here, but a lot of Prada fragrances, both on the men's and on the women's side of things, do utilize like this clean white floral feel to them. And this one is just quite wonderful. There is a bit of a sweet, sensation it could even have a little bit of ethyl maltol in the base of course it's not listed in the note breakdown but i am getting this overlying sweetness that i think is really quite wonderful and with a name like candy of course it's going to put me in the mindset of halloween of course we have a fragrance from the brand strange love nyc and this one is called melt my heart here we're talking about chocolate so the perfumer is christoph laudamiel He's an amazing perfumer. He even did Amber Absolute by Tom Ford. He did a number of fragrances and he's just super, super talented. Here we have a fragrance that has dark chocolate, iris, a little bit of oud in the base and that chocolatey warmth in the opening is just utterly delectable. And every time I wear this one, by the way, this could make it in a gourmand list. This can make it in a winter list. This can make it in a Valentine's Day list. So I love the versatility of this fragrance. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is that this is a bit on the heavier side of things, which is why the recommendation is made for this to be worn in the fall and winter, not necessarily the spring and summer, but Melt My Heart is an amazing fragrance by Strange Love NYC. And it does kind of put me in the mindset of Halloween, to be honest with you. And the fragrance in the number one spot is the sweetest fragrance that this brand has to offer. And this also has a candied-like personality to it. There's marshmallow, there's whipped cream, uh, there's also vanilla in the dry down. This is a beautiful fragrance. I attended the launch event. As a matter of fact, I was one of the co-hosts in the launch event at Saks Fifth Avenue two years ago in 2021 when the fragrance came out. This is an amazing perfume. This was a collaborative effort between perfumers Hamid Merati Kashani, who's absolutely amazing. I went out to dinner with the guy and his wife and his daughter amazing individuals and also Natalie Lorson who's an amazing perfumer she did Ancre Noir by Lalique she's incredibly talented well this one is called Oriana by Parfum de Marly this is an amazing orange blossom you know marshmallow vanilla whipped cream type of a fragrance and it has that sweetness to it and it's just utterly divine and it of course with it being the sweetest one that the brand has to offer of course, it's going to make its way onto this list, especially if you're thinking of treats. And of course, I could have made other recommendations like 
maybe Pink Sugar by Aquilina or the discontinued Blue Sugar. Of course, there's a lot of other fragrances that utilize a bit of a sweeter component, but of course, I wanted to focus the attention on these three. I do love them. They're very high recommendations on my end. And of course, as you can see, two of them are a little bit feminine leaning, but nevertheless, they are amazing fragrances. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the giveaway, sephlabon.com. First link down below in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.